The world is witnessing an upheaval in the global banking landscape. Recent events such as the collapse of US-based Silicon Valley Bank and the Signature Bank, as well as the forced merger of the financial giants Credit Suisse and UBS have raised alarm about potential systematic issues within the international financial system. Historically, India's banking sector has managed to stay relatively unscathed during global financial crisis, thanks to the proactive efforts of the Reserve Bank of India. While the domestic situation appears stable for now, the mounting storms abroad could threaten the stability. Hi, I'm Saurav Kumar and in this video, we'll show you how to spot warning signs that could indicate potential problems with your bank helping you protect your savings. So let's dive in. To gauge the financial health of your bank, start by monitoring some critical operating metrics. Deteriorating financial metrics can be the earliest sign of the impending trouble. So here are three key metrics to watch out for. Number one is the non-performing assets or the NPAs. High NPAs may reflect reckless lending practices and indicate that loans are not being repaid on time. If your bank's NPAs exceed 8 to 10 percent, consider switching it to a better managed bank. The second one is the capital adequacy ratio or the CAR. The CAR indicates how much a bank can absorb losses before becoming insolvent. A higher CAR suggests that a bank has a stronger capital base to support its operation and is better equipped to absorb potential losses. And a low CAR indicates that the bank's net worth may erode. Check if your bank's CAR is within acceptable limits. The third one is provisioning coverage ratio or the PCR. The provisioning coverage ratio or PCR is a financial metric used by banks and financial institutions to assess the extent to which they have to set aside funds to cover potential losses from the non-performing assets such as bad loans or defaulted loans. The PCR which is expressed as a percentage and is calculated by dividing the total provisions made by the bank or bad loans by the total amount of gross non-performing assets. A higher PCR indicates that a bank has made adequate provisions to cover potential losses from NPAs. Conversely, a lower PCR suggests a higher chance of capital erosion. Make sure that your bank's PCR stays within 65 to 70%. There are further red flags to watch out for. In addition to monitoring vital financial metrics, watch out for these red flags that may indicate potential trouble in your bank. The first one is delayed earning release. If your bank delays releasing its earnings, it could be a warning sign that warrants further investigation. The second one is auditor concerns or resignation. Watch out for adverse comments by the auditor flagging uncooperative management or discrepancies in data. The resignation of an auditor is often a telltale sign of trouble. The third one is rating downgrades. Stay vigilant for any rating downgrades by credit rating agencies concerning the financial instrument issued by the bank. Another one is special regulation by the RBI. Any special regulation imposed by the RBI on the bank would serve as a critical early warning. Another one is negative press. If your bank is continuously in the news for wrong reasons, it may be prudent to withdraw your funds. Remember. Taking a safety first approach can help you save your savings. So what should you do? Spread your savings and deposit across multiple banks. Maximize deposit insurance by using different combinations of ownership. Another thing to do is diversify outside the banking system with products like RBI saving bonds or debt mutual funds. Another option is to exercise caution with smaller banks and limit exposure to them. We hope you found this guide helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe for more personal finance related content. This is Saurav Kumar, thanks for watching.